Hey y'all, if you are interested in seeing what I'm gonna do with all of these ingredients, stay tuned because it is another fall cocktail that contains no pumpkin, no cinnamon, and not even any orange. But we do have lemon. First of all, that puree, it looks gross. The cocktail actually smells good. It smells better than that puree, puree looks. And I actually like figs, but I don't like that. 
Let's try it and see. Here we go. Pleasantly surprised. Two cha two changes. No, three changes that I made. One, I think the recipe had a mishap on how many tablespoons of water you should use because you saw two tablespoons didn't do it. I ended up doing like four or five just to get it to. That smells horrible. <laughs> this, this smells awful. Oh, smells like prunes. Um. I had to end up using like four to five tablespoons of water, which got it to move a little bit more. Change number two, I would use instead of, they actually call for ginger ale. So I use some rose sparkling wine because I don't have no ginger ale and I just figured ginger ale and gin, I don't like that combination. I figured I would like the gin and the sparkling wine and I do, however, the gin is a little bit too strong for this rosé, so it really needs a Prosecco. That's what it needs. That's change number two. Change number three, it needs to be double strained because I don't like bits and pieces in my drinks. So this would need to be double strained. For picture sake, I'm gonna pour a little bit more rosé on top of that because I don't like the way it looks on top. I don't know. It's different. That's one thing I can say. Um, I mean, would I make it again? I would, just I would make some those changes that I mentioned. Girl, and why is the puree so thick? I ran it under the water and it's still stuck on the top. There you have it. Today's drink was interesting. It actually tastes not bad. If you like sweeter drinks though, and if you decide to make this, I would say add um, more sugar or use, that's what I should have done. I should have used simple syrup to make the puree. So I would suggest instead of using water, use simple syrup with your puree because it'll give it a little bit of sweetness. And yeah, that's it. So it was just a real quick, you know, one, two um, that I did today. And um, I hope y'all found it interesting. <laughs> I hope y'all try it. Listen, if you try this drink, please drop down in the comments and let us just know. Because uh, y'all see I'm still drinking it, all right? But it does need to be like double, triple strain because it's got too many bits in it. Um, yeah, I just chewed a piece of the fig. That's a no-go for me. So I'm probably not going to finish this because unless I strain it again, you know that's what cocktail making is all about trial and error now it's time to put this bottle of gin in the freezer so that this one can get cold and this one can go to the recycle bin Woo, child i talked to y'all tomorrow all right we almost to friday we almost to friday yay okay that's enough all right bye